Riley, can I get a statement for my blog? I'm married now, so stop sliding my DMs. Oh. That's not at me, right? That's at someone else, I'm guessing. Did you ever have, like, boyfriends? Dating was really hard. People have this persona of you. Especially as I, like, grew a name for myself. Mm -hmm. It was hard to meet someone who doesn't know who I was. Mm. And so, like, there was always that, like fandom they met me first in their mind as riley so oh. it was really hard to like reverse and teach them that i'm ashley being with the porn stars like you don't take her to meet your mom and blah 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 i didn't like retire but i just stopped shooting like boy girl porn oh, so it was wow. like a choice that i made on my own but i made that choice because i was lonely and i wanted like love and affections and stuff and i was like i'm not going to be able to find this while i'm performing oh. because it makes dating really hard because i've dated guys and they were like me or porn and i was like well porn never gave me this ultimatum so i choose that if a woman's body count is above three marriage is out of the picture i can't say the same for riley reed's husband i can't allow a hoe take care of my children same goes for only fans girls some men say that they are not concerned about a woman's body count well i am not only am i concerned about it i'm also concerned about how her past relationships ended but that's a story for another day who in his right mind would kneel and say to a porn star, a popular porn star at that, I want to marry you as my lovely wedded wife, Pasha Petkins, Riley Reed's now husband did that. Is it that he doesn't know about her past, or that he's okay with fucking every horny man's woman? He's okay being a cuckold. I and members of manhood aren't. I feel angry at myself that I couldn't deliver my message to Pasha Petkins before the deed happened. Now he has to live with a broken woman all his life. As the popular phrase in superhero movies says, with great power comes great responsibility. I have over 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for the support, guys. I have over 100,000 subscribers. I have the power to reach a lot of men. And yet, I couldn't help him. Now I have to live with it till I die, because I couldn't show him the light. In this video, I'm going to say what I've always been saying, even if it means choking it down you guys' throats. Yes, I will go that far. I won't allow the same thing to repeat itself again. Body count matters. In Pasha Petkin's case, he knew his now wife, Riley Reed's body count. I mean, she has over 1.9 million subscribers on Pornhub, as you can see on the screen. I saw on Riley Reed's post how women were commending her for taking that bold step. They said Pasha Petkin is a real man for taking her with her high body count. These women, are the feminists who poison our women's minds by telling them that body count doesn't matter. These feminists poison our women's minds by telling them lies about how they can spend their 20s having sex with Chad and his buddies and still find a nice guy like Pasha Petkins for the rest of their lives. You'll never find a nice guy while manhood is still alive. I'll say it straight to your face. Women are unable to think for themselves in the age we live in today. They take these toxic feminists' words of face value. Body count is the most significant and essential quality that men should consider seriously out of all the qualities that men seek in a woman. We men seek a pure and harmless woman. A woman who avoids going out to parties, hitting the bars, and having one-night stands. A quiet woman appeals to men. Not exactly a shy or timid woman, but a pure woman nonetheless. In part, because of this, men prefer younger women. We men are aware that younger women have a lower body count than these modern women in their 30s. Consider having two pairs. Would you choose the rotten fruit over the new one simply because it is less expensive? Obviously not. It makes perfect sense. Why do these ladies believe that body count doesn't matter? There are actually four explanations for why they believe this. These toxic feminists are the main factor behind their belief that body count is unimportant. They claim that since a woman's history is uniquely her own, we shouldn't ask about it. Why in the world would you advise me not to ask how many men the mother of my future children has slept with? Why would you advise against me asking my future bride how many relationships she has had? Why would you advise against me asking about how her previous relationships ended? These feminists are illogical. After having sex with various guys while they were at their peak, they believe they are still the prize. To suit their collapsing lives, they make up different stories. The second is ginocentrism. These women don't want to accept that men's beliefs are important. Body count is important and reveals a lot about a woman's values and mentality. We can see a connection between body count and divorce rates when we focus solely on how it impacts relationships. It undeniably harms the connections between men and women. 
Hive mindset is the third on the list. Women follow the example of other women who are not in happy relationships. Women pay more attention to their peers than to their own internal compass in order to blend in. They are influenced by their friends to make poor choices regarding men in their lives. It forces them into a vicious cycle in which they value their female friends more internally or placing less value on the decent men in their lives. They are undergoing these cognitive shifts without being conscious of them. Accountability comes in at number four on my list. These women think they have nothing to lose. Well, at least right now. Because of the temporal separation between the consequences of women's actions and their acts, they wrongly classify the causes of their problems and attribute guilt. A woman belongs to the street if she has a high body count. She is not suitable for dating or marriage. Women like this only serve to help you up your bedroom game in preparation for the real deserving woman. That real deserving woman has a low body count. She's a woman who maintained her purity in this impure society. The higher the body count of a woman, the lower her value becomes. That is the way things are and always will be. No feminist narrative can change that. How then do you know a woman's body count? Women are notorious lies, as we all know. They deceive everybody, even themselves. They will undoubtedly lie if you ask them how many men they've had sex with. In order to determine how many sexual partners she has had in the past, a wise man devised the following fabled method. Use this method to determine a woman's exact bodily count. The number she tells you multiplied by 2 plus 3 equals the number of sexual partners. If she answers 4, then 4 times 2 plus 3 means 11 potential sexual partners. A typical lady should have zero body count. There are still a small number of virgins in today's culture. If you look well, you might be fortunate enough to find a virgin. Or maybe even better, find a woman with less than four body count. That's all for today on manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.